What is up guys? Welcome back to another travel vlog this time from America. We are in Hamptons. We came yesterday, it was uh, raining, but today it's the day just started beautifully. It's beautiful morning, the sun is coming out. So we are going to drive uh, all the way to Montauk and then on the way back we will stop uh, through these little towns. So I will show you all the towns you can visit here, the famous areas and all that. We will also eat uh, some lunch at this famous spot called lobster roll and yeah we will we will see what we can see if you are guys new here don't forget to hit the thumbs up subscribe and let's just do that So we were traveling to the Hamptons from New York City on a very rainy day which was actually good for traveling and also for some shopping so we stopped on the way at Target and you know we shopped some American goodies we don't have a huge packaging like that in Europe so it was just good you know to stroll around the store and it was also before Halloween so they had also lots of Halloween decoration which was pretty funny then we had to also stop by TK Maxx which is my favorite in America it's way better than in Europe actually I feel like you get there much better clothing so I was just shopping for some underwear and um, yeah that was it actually Sebastian was a little bit annoyed so uh, we continued our drive and when we came to our friend's house it stopped already raining so we went actually on the beach to see the sunset and it was so pretty the beaches and there are actually private so you need to have permission but actually September end of September the season was already over so you don't need it anymore then we just grabbed some Mexican food to go and we had pretty nice evening uh, yeah relaxing eating had some wine and we were ready the next day for the trip our plan was to drive right away to Montauk because of the traffic and then on the way back to stop at each small town which was you know pretty good idea because we missed the traffic like that we were so lucky with the weather because the next day was a beautiful day we started the day with some coffee and some views at the restaurant there you have there lots of informative boards like this so you can learn about the area which is pretty cool not forget to mention that you can park there obviously there is a huge parking spot uh, for eight dollars I guess it's for the whole day and you can also park in the different spots in this um, park. Montauk is so famous for its tourism. It is considered a beach resort using its position at the tip of Long Island to promote itself as the end or the last resort and has become one of the busiest tourist locations in East Hampton. It has many restaurants, bed and breakfasts and hotels and its popular vacation spot in the warm months. The Montauk was the most expensive travel destination in the entire United States in 2019. This stems partially from the cost of accommodation per night due to scarcity and supply. This year it's not much different due to demand although it may not take the first place. The most famous thing to see in the Montauk Point State Park is of course the lighthouse where we are heading right now. The lighthouse was the first to be built within the state of New York and was the first public works project of the new United States. It is the fourth oldest active lighthouse in the United States. It is also listed on the National Register of Historic Places. In 2012, it was designed as a National Historic Landmark for its significance to New York and international shipping in the early federal period. As you can see, inside of the lighthouse is a museum which is privately run and it is very interesting uh, to see. The lighthouse was commissioned by President George Washington in 1792. The construction began on June 7th in 1796 and was completed on November 5th, 1796. The lighthouse was tended by civilian keepers until 1939 when the Coast Guard took over. During the Second World War, the army moved into the lighthouse and built the large tower that stands next to it for the purpose of watching for submarines. 
The light flashes every 5 seconds and can be seen from a distance of 19 nautical miles. Frank Mundus was a fisherman and character captain based in Montauk, who is said to be the inspiration for the character Quinn in the book and movie Jaws. But the filming location for Jaws was actually in Massachusetts. The height of the tower is 33 meters and there are 137 iron steps to the top. The magnificent lighthouse provides amazing 360 views over the Block Island Sound, the Atlantic Ocean and points west. Whether you are in town for a week or a day, no visit to Montau is complete with a stop at its historical lighthouse. We also climbed the steep stairs all the way up, which I would really recommend uh, on doing. You can see the nature all around and the sea. So if you are down at Montau, definitely go up and see the views from there and you know learn about the history you can just stroll around and enjoy the views you know relax on the benches and there is also this active interactive uh, wall with the sea which was pretty cool and we try to play with it a little bit it's time to go eat some famous lobster so let's head to a lobster roll and try out some lobster i'm so excited for this so we weren't really lucky and the place a uh, famous place we wanted to get the lobster rolls was closed on tuesday as i mentioned before you know september is already slow uh, season for montau so we found different place to go and it was also a pretty good choice uh, it looked so cool and yeah we got each lobster roll we had one warm and one cold one so we could you know try different types of it and we really like it uh, it was lots of fries there also and yeah this is how it looks our next stop is the Southampton village which is uh, famous for brand exclusive shops designer shops and also for very good dining it is very nice to just stroll around walk around the streets and you know I see all the nice shops the houses uh, in the area of Hamptons owns the most richest people actually in the world and you can also find there lots of real estate and these are actually just you know like summer houses so it's very interesting to see and the houses are amazing and uh, the atmosphere too the town of southampton is one of the 10 towns located in the Suffolk country it is located approximately 80 miles from new york city it is the largest and most populous of the five east end towns of Suffolk county southampton is home to nearly 55,200 persons on a year-round basis the summer population can swell to twice that number or more. The town of Southampton is considered a popular seasonal resort area, drawing thousands of visitors and seasonal residents. Tourism and vacation home industry drives the economic development engine of the town. Our next stop is Two Square Miles Village, Sag Harbor, with a very rich history. The earliest inhabitants of this area were the Algonquin Indians. The little village has an excellent port from which they could ship their goods. They call the place Sagaponag Harbor or the Harbor of Sag. Also, records indicate that there were no permanent settlement until the late 1730. Southampton Town Records first mentioned Sag Harbor by name in 1709. The first subdivisions of land took place in 1738 and then again in 1745. From this point on Sag Harbor grew. From 1760 to 1850 the village was a thriving whaling port. As a seaport, Sag Harbor had come into her own and was secondly only to New York City in importance. It was the first port of entry in the state of New York, being established one day before the city of New York. By an act of Congress passed July 31, 1789 at the second session of the first Congress of the United States, when President Washington approved the creation of Sag Harbor as a port of entry, the village had more tons of square-ridged vessels engaged in commerce than in New York City. 
The village has also contributed to the history of the various wars that were found on America's soil and aboard. The village continued to serve its country by sending many young men and women into the service to fight in the various wars through the history. Today the village continues to honor all those who served by placing wreaths and the various war monuments through the village each Memorial Day. You will find in the village theater, small restaurants, and we got this uh, frozen yogurt, which was absolutely delicious. I loved it. I would definitely go back there. That is my secret tip to get the frozen yogurt at Sag Harbor. Our next stop is as much exciting as it can get for me because it was end of September. The pumpkin farms were just uh, starting out and I have never ever been to such a pumpkin farm and a maze like this. It was absolutely cool. I was so happy like a little kid. You can buy there different types of pumpkins and mice and when you want to go to the maze you have to uh, pay entry to the maze which is separate. We didn't go there because we didn't have much time but I would love to do that actually. After that we were heading to East Hamptons, but first we were actually driving through Gin Lane, which is in South Hamptons, and this is the most expensive area with the most expensive houses. You couldn't see actually the most expensive houses because they are a huge on the huge um, acres with the huge fences, but the houses are around 150 millions of dollars, so this is actually very insane and we were coming to the town of East Hamptons. You will find in this area of course also some of the most influential and wealthy people in the world. It is one of the country's most beautiful areas with the miles of white sandy beaches. East Hampton is a world famous oceanside resort just 100 miles from New York City. The town offers a wide range of fine restaurants, boutiques, art galleries and theater and also lots of real estate agencies. The population of East Hampton is 27,600 approximately and many retirees live in East Hampton and residents tend to lean conservative. The public schools in East Hampton are highly rated. You will also find there lots of bars, coffee shops and parks. The East Hamptons housing expenses are 33% higher than the national average and the utility prices are 26% higher than the national average. Transportation expenses like bus fares and gas prices are 5% higher than the national average. We wanted to catch sunset at this very cool place, restaurant, uh, which my friend told us about. Unfortunately, it was already closed for the season, so you have to be aware of that. If you are there at the end of September, uh, some places might be already closed. And the next day, the last little town, which we didn't see yet, was West Hamptons. We were actually staying at West Hamptons at our friend's house. West Hampton Beach is considered by many to be the first Hampton because it was the first village in the Hamptons to being renting out rooms and the first Hampton to be accessed by the Long Island Railroad. We went there on the little morning stroll around and uh, to grab some coffee. The town is also of course very cute with the uh, coffee shops, with the restaurants, with the bars, with the movie theater. The population of West Hampton Beach is about 3000 inhabitants and it is also one of the best places to live in New York. Do you think that Hamptons are more expensive than Manhattan? The average price in the Hamptons is now more than 1 million higher than the average sales price in Manhattan. As for most of the people, it can stay just a dream to own the property there. It's definitely worth of visiting for everyone. Good morning guys, so it is the next morning. We did a lot yesterday, it was a long day, we saw lots of stuff, it was absolutely amazing, we loved it. September is really great to come to Hamptons as the towns are slowing down, so 
it's not busy. The thing is you have to actually uh, see because some the, some of the places we wanted to eat in were closed on Tuesday, which was yesterday. And they were, for example, opening first on Thursday, I think, you know, for the weekend. I think I would love to also come for the summer, of course. That's the best time to come to Hamptons. And yeah, we are off to another adventure. We are uh, going to the Yankees game uh, tonight against Toronto Blue Jays. So that's pretty exciting. And yeah, we will do another trips to Philadelphia, to uh, Miami, so don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!